scary moments at the Delta Fair after shots were fired last night. Good evening, I'm Annette Pegler. Initially, fair officials say the incident was caused by fireworks, not gunfire. But in fact, there were two separate incidents last night. And although no one was shot, the panic did lead to several people getting injured. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher spoke with a relative of a woman who is now in the hospital. She joins us live at the Agri Center with more. Rebecca. Well, good evening there, Annette. While nobody was actually hit or grazed by a bullet, the gunfire started a stampede of people coming out of this exit right behind me. Over the phone today, I spoke with one man whose wife is actually recovering in the hospital now from a brain injury. Take a listen. Well, the cell phone video captures the moments after shots were fired into the air at the Delta Fair on Saturday. Destin Bobbitt and his nine-year-old daughter were also trying to escape in the confusion. She fell down. I just tried to get her behind the building and kind of get her out of the way in case, you know, bullets started coming our way. The Shelby County Sheriff's Department responded just before 930 last night. Captain Anthony Buckner confirms no one was hit by a bullet. However, several people report being injured by the panic crowd inside after bullets were fired. She was just scared, man, and uh, if we came away, she was just crying and just, I love you, Daddy, I love you so much. And she just kept saying that over and over and over through her tears. Norman Frisbee and his wife were walking out when they heard about five gunshots. His wife was hit by another person. She got knocked over and she hit her head. His wife suffered a contusion and is now recovering in Regional 1. She had a bleeding, a brain was bleeding, and they have got that stopped and under control now. The Delta Fair originally posted on Facebook that fireworks went off Saturday. Organizers say there were two separate incidents. We actually had somebody shoot fireworks off inside the building, and they thought it was the same incident. However, it was not. Witnesses tell me there was a lack of security and that no one was checking bags. We, we actually received those same reports. And we were, we have been checking into it all day. Uh, and yes, actually, we've brought in, we've uh, purchased more wines and brought in more people. Yeah, and right now, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office deputies, they're still looking for the suspect. Captain Buckner says they believe right now, they believe that gunman is a man. If you have any details that could help in this investigation or have any cell phone video from last night, you're urged to contact Crime Stoppers. The number is 901-528-CASH. Reporting live from the Agri Center, I'm Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.